Hello and welcome to this section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. We're going to wrap this concept of integrating uh, exponential functions up with a couple of really neat problems here that I want to expose you to. You know, a lot of times I've taught you, or in fact the entire time I've taught you, when you're doing substitution problems, uh, you really want to have a cancellation occur and you want that integral to be very simple, something you know how to integrate right away after you do the substitution. But in these problems, we're going to find that once we do the initial substitution, the resulting integral is pretty simple, but it's not quite in a form that we can, that we can actually integrate right away. So we'll have to do a second substitution. Um, I think it's much easier to show you rather than talk about it. And it's something that you just kind of recognize whenever you, when you're, give a pro, when you're getting, given a problem like this. So let's say we have the integral of e to the minus t times the natural log, and on the inside we have 1 plus e to the minus t, and on the denominator we have 1 plus e to the minus t, and of course this is all dt. So I have lots of stuff going on. Very difficult in a problem like this to figure out what the appropriate substitution is, um, straight out of the gate. But with some experience, you kind of realize that you probably want the inside of this logarithm to be simple so that, you know, you have a chance. And you also don't like this denominator either. And they also match. So that's kind of a big clue there. So as a first cut, as a first test, I'm going to say that u is equal to 1 plus e to the minus t because it's going to simplify the inside of this logarithm. And it's going to also simplify the denominator at the same time. So let's just try and see if we get a cancellation with this guy once we actually do that. So du dt, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of this is e to the minus t because it's indestructible, but then you have to take the derivative of the exponent, which is negative t. So you're going to get negative 1. So that's going to be that guy. And then if you solve for dt, what you're going to get is 1 over negative e to the minus t d you like this. All right, so you just move the dt over, divide by all this stuff, and that's what you get. So what we want to do is put this in to this integral uh, along with our substitution. So we have e to the minus t. Now we have logarithm, natural logarithm, of what we have here as we've defined to be u. So we'll do natural log of u. On the bottom, this whole thing just becomes u. And then dt, we've defined to be all this stuff. So what we'll have is uh, negative 1 over e to the minus t du. All right, so we think we've done something right because e to the minus t cancels with e to the minus t. All right, so let's go ahead and just rewrite the integral and see where we stand. So what we'll have, the negative one's going to come outside, so I'm going to say negative integral natural log of u over u du. We've certainly simplified the integral quite a bit. We've certainly got it all in terms of u. We've canceled everything, so we think we're probably on the right track. But this actual integral, we don't know how to solve right away. We don't have any idea how to solve that. So you might think you're stuck and you go back to the drawing board, but as you start trying to choose other values of u or other quantities for u, it's very difficult to find one that's going to give you, an, a, you know, a total you know, slam dunk uh, on the first try. But what we notice is that we have a natural log on top and we have a u on the bottom. So this this is another integral. It's as if I gave you this integral on a separate sheet of paper and said solve this, okay? What if I gave you that? What if I just forget about what we've already done? This is a new integral in terms of a variable called u. So what if I gave you that and I said how do we solve this? Find a substitution that would make that work. Then you would look at that and you'd say well, uh, I could try to substitute some variable and, and set it equal to 